If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Get the word out there on YouTube. This guy rocks. He believes in liberty. Thank you. How y'all doing today? Y'all ready to smoke some cannabis? Indeed. There you go. My name is Caleb Dyer. I'm a state representative. I represent the towns of Hudson and Pelham, New Hampshire. And I was one of four co-sponsors of the bill to legalize cannabis in the state of New Hampshire. Glenn Aldrich, the prime sponsor, unfortunately could not be here today as he has prior engagements. However, I would like to give you a little bit of the legislative background on this issue because it's something that we all need to be very much aware of and participate in. As a state rep, um, in co-sponsoring this legislation, we moved it through two committees in the House. We moved it through criminal justice and public safety, which the majority of the members on criminal justice and public safety voted to kill House Bill 656. We over... I think we're, we're pretty well maxed out. I wish I could be more loud. I'm sorry. However, on the floor of the New Hampshire House of Representatives, we overturned the inexpedient to legislate recommendation of that committee. Overwhelmingly. When the bill went to Ways and Means upon second referral, the Ways and Means Committee again voted to send the bill to interim study, which would effectively kill it. Unfortunately, upon returning to the floor of the House of Representatives, we were unable to overcome the interim study motion. The bill is currently stuck in interim study in ways and means where it has no place being. So that effectively means that come the session in 2018 when it starts, that will be the next opportunity that we will have to legalize cannabis in the state of New Hampshire by legislative decree. We will not have until that time any state senator on record on this issue. That was the design of that plan to keep state senators off the record. Please contact your state senator. Find out who they are. Get them on the record. And now I'd like to read you something that I had had prepared for the, uh, the first debate on this matter before the House of Representatives. I will. Uh, I would like to read you a speech that I had had prepared for my, my fellow members of the House, which I was not able to deliver. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I'm not addressing the Speaker, but... Fellow members, it has now come time for us to consider whether or not the state of New Hampshire will continue the prohibition of cannabis or end it. End it! This experiment in prohibition has been ongoing for some eight decades, wherein millions of peaceful individuals have been robbed, caged, and extorted for nothing more than the possession of a plant. This war we have waged on cannabis has proven itself to be wildly costly to both the victims and the taxpayers. It has ruined the lives of so many individuals, families, and communities by denying them food, fuel, fiber, medicine, and numerous other things that the cannabis plant may provide. I see this as an absolute travesty and abject failure of the institution of government and this legislature to protect the rights to property and to pursue happiness. In truth, the war on cannabis is not a war on a plant, but a war on people. <laughs> Ultimately, however, the specific question of this bill, House Bill 656, is not about prohibition, but rather a question of the proper role of government. I appeal to part the first of our Constitution, Article 2, which describes our natural rights. All men have certain natural, essential, and inherent rights among which are the enjoying and defending of life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and in a word, of seeking and obtaining happiness. Furthermore, part first, article four reads, among, these, uh, among the natural rights, some are in their very na nature unalienable, because no equivalent can be given or received for them. Of this kind are the rights of conscience. I further submit that there is a deeper innate natural right of all mankind to make use of and work the land in any way they see fit for their benefit. Yep. And that no government has the authority to render null the exercise of this right. Some members have concerns regarding the federal law concerning cannabis. 
I might remind the members that while we are in a union with the several states, we are dutifully bound to respect Part First, Article 7 of our Constitution, which reads, The people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free, sovereign, and independent state. Forever hereafter shall exercise and enjoy every power, jurisdiction, and right pertaining thereto, which is not or may not hereafter be by them expressly delegated to the United States of America in Congress Assembly. Woo! Yeah. The people of New Hampshire no longer wish to continue this war in accordance with the edicts of the federal government. To vote for its prolongation in accordance with the, their edicts is to deny the people of New Hampshire the right to self-govern. I am compelled to ask this legislature, given the constraints of our Constitution and the powers we are granted, if it is our role to dictate to free individuals what they may or may not grow or consume in their gardens. It is, our role to uh, is it our role to imprison these individuals who have not caused any harm to others or created a victim at the expense of the taxpayer? Is it our role to prevent the establishment of a commercial market for this valuable agricultural commodity? an industry which has the potential to revitalize the rural agrarian segment of New Hampshire's economy. I do not see any justification by our Constitution or otherwise for these actions of government. We must seriously reconsider whether or not it is a legitimate and rightful role of our government to enforce the prohibition of the commodity. It is our duty as legislators, as members of this court, to exact and defend the Constitution and these precious rights of our constituents. If we discover among the laws, prior edicts, which we find to be destructive to these rights, we ought to abolish them, or revise them so as to respect them. I urge you, fellow members, to cast your vote against the recommendation. I urge you all today, when you return to your homes, contact your legislators, tell them how you feel, let them know what you know. Let them know that it is not their role to interfere in your personal life. Thank you. It's got all the best words. All the best words. Indeed. Um, so Daryl touched on a little bit today, the New Hampshire House of Representatives passed Senate Bills 15 and 17, which is what he alluded to. Uh, those, as he said, expanded the therapeutic cannabis program in New Hampshire, or will, once they're signed by the governor, which he should. Um, like to inform you, I am a co-sponsor on House Bill 656, which is the legalization bill. Um, some of you, some of you might not know, but that bill was retained in committee. I know that some of you definitely do know that, but um, <laughs> yeah. Well, retained in committee isn't necessarily a victory, Daryl. Uh, but you know, we're uh, we're working every day to uh, get the votes on the committees to pass that. Um, you know, even though the governor would most likely veto. Um, you know, we've put a lot of pressure on senators. Um, I don't know if you've spoken to Sanborn. Did you, did that come up at all in your discussions? No? Uh, not that. Okay. Well, one way or another, uh, we're working very hard to get a legalization bill fairly heard before the Senate and, you know, put on the governor's desk. Um, because one way or another, the House will keep passing that legislation. We will absolutely keep voting it up. Because to keep such activity criminalized and you know, putting so many people in cages where they do not need to be, it's just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, we spend far more money than it's worth. And, you know, just know that there will always be people up in this building that will be, you know, fighting to make sure that innocent people or people who are guilty of no real crime um, do not suffer for that choice. So, um, with that, I'm, I'm satisfied. Uh, who's next? We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.